Hey everybody, thanks for coming back again this week. If you listened in, last week we talked a bit about some of our education and outreach efforts and about why we think it's so important to engage with more and more of you and to really grow our positive impacts outside the ski area boundary. This week we thought it'd be cool to talk about another way we do that, which more and more these days focuses around advocacy and direct involvement in some of the local and statewide legislative processes that create the policy that can help a business like us to continue to succeed. So, you know, we mentioned last week that we definitely recognize that our own individual emissions here at the Basin are really a pretty small drop in the bucket, but we definitely acknowledge that being Arapahoe Basin and with the elevated visibility that we have and the louder than average voice that we may carry out there in the business world, uh, we have the opportunity to be a really influential stakeholder when it comes to policy making decisions. You know, businesses like us can publicly support certain policies that are out there in the legislative world. We also can engage with those lawmakers and with local officials on really building out those policies from the ground up. You know, having our voices heard, having the features of some of these sustainable building codes or public utility commission rulings and things like that, how they can really uh, help support the work that we're doing here at the mountain and help us to continue our way of life and the awesome skiing and riding experience that we have here at the mountain. We know there are tons of ways and tons of different things going on out there in the world that we could weigh in on. You know, a few of the ones that we've chosen and feel strongly about recently, many of which are Colorado uh, based and many more are even more local than that here in Summit County. But we've weighed in very strongly over the years on things like EV readiness and the electric vehicle infrastructure development that's gonna help us to move our fleet away from the gas and diesel vehicles that we use now. We've also worked really closely with Excel Energy, who is our utility provider and a great player when it comes to uh, their development and advancement of renewable energy technology, particularly here in Colorado. We've also taken a pretty outspoken stance in Washington, D.C. on a few big bills that are in Congress and have been recently, those being the CORE Act, as well as the SHRED Act, both of which um, help to guide the way that the U.S. Forest Service operates the public lands on which places like Arapahoe Basin operate and so many of the places that you and I like to recreate. And we also weighed in recently on the Inflation Reduction Act uh, with an op-ed with myself and our COO, Al, uh, pleading with our congressional legislation to take action on that which luckily they did, and we are beginning to reap the benefits of those strong environmental features in that bill. So all of that is just a brief uh, description of some of the things that we do here at the mountain to, again, broaden our impacts beyond the A Basin ski area boundary and to really have the uh, global approach that we think that climate change deserves and that a business like us is gonna need to stay vibrant. So thanks again for checking us out. We'll dive into more fun Earth Day stuff next week.